In the last video, we have talked about collapsing cell, which was choosing a solution out of a list of possible values. This video, we will take a look at the second step, propagation. Uh, last video, we have set pattern with index 1 in the bottom left corner cell. As the, so 1 is the solution for this cell. Now we will use the neighbors list to decide what are the possible values for the neighboring cells of the bottom left cell. Actually, we are going to delete the impossible values based on the difference between what is currently possible for the neighbors and what is possible if our bottom left corner cell has index 1 as a solution. Let's walk through an example. After setting 1, in a cell 0, 0, so we will call the cell in the bottom left as 0, 0, we will go and check cells in each cardinal direction. We only have neighbors upwards and to the right of the cell 0, 0. Next, we start from asking what neighbors can, uh, can parent, a pattern with index 1 have to its right. We look at the list and let's say we can have only pattern of index 3. So we have collapsed yet another output cell. But there can be a situation where we can have multiple solutions. In upward direction, let's say 2 and 3 are both possible solutions. This means we can't yet decide what uh, will be the solution for this cell, but if we were to collapse next cell, this one would be much better candidate since now it can only have two out of three possible uh, indices. Because cell 1, and 1, 0 and 0, 1 have been modified in terms of their possible values list, we can check their neighbors uh, if the changes made to uh, the 1, 0 and 0, 1 tiles can uh, influence, influence uh, the, their neighbors. We take a list of neighbors uh, for the right direction and uh, for, for up direction and we compare. Uh, we can see that uh, 1, 2 and 3 are possibility lists for both neighbors and let's say 1 can only have 3 to the right and 2 and 3 upwards. So the difference uh, is upwards uh, we delete 1 and to the right we delete 1 and 2. And because we have only uh, one in the index remaining, this would be the solution. And now, because we have changed those uh, possibility lists for those cells, we now can check their neighbors, so uh, the remaining image on the right, uh, in case the change has, uh, can reduce the lists of the neighbors for those cells. So let's see a more Com a complex example. Here we have uh, our input tile map in form of a pattern grid with pattern of size 1. And uh, we want to create an output uh, of 2 by 2, so the tile map of size 2 by 2. We start knowing that each output cell can take 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 is the possible solution index. First, we pick a random cell. Here we have chosen uh, the up left corner of our grid and collapsed it using previously shown technique of choosing index value based on frequency. So the solution will be zero. Next, we propagate. Each time we decrease the number of possible pattern indices for a cell, we add it to a checklist. When we reach a cell diagonal from our starting point, we can see that it was influenced by its neighbors and it in turn was able to reduce those neighbors' lists of possible patterns. It was possible because the more neighbors the cell has, the more constraints they will imply on this cell. We ended up with values 0, 2, 3 and 4 and propagated back to the neighbors and was able to reduce their possible values list. So to better understand it, I will use my mouse to show you what I mean. Our uh, cell in the 
the top right corner will influence the cell below it and the cell will have uh, changes made to it and if it does then it can in turn uh, make changes to its neighbor uh, its neighbor on the left and the same situation goes from this uh, from this lower left tile it will influence a cell to the right of it and if it does then the cell can influence its own neighbor upwards and th that is why at the uh, last image on the right we can see that the grid was further collapsed and going even further we will end up with a result as i said before we will be iter iterating over those steps to receive an output but we still don't know how to choose a next tile to collapse this is what we will be focusing on in the next video